Did you know that up to 70% of pregnant women take at least one prescription medication? It's a surprising statistic that underscores a vital aspect of prenatal care, the safety of medications during pregnancy. Many expectant mothers might assume that all prescribed medications are safe, however, the reality is quite different. Some medications, even those that are seemingly benign, can pose significant risks during pregnancy. Understanding which medications to avoid when expecting is crucial. The purpose of this video is not just to list them out but to delve deeper into why these medications are hazardous and how they can affect both mother and child. It's about equipping expectant parents with the knowledge they need to make informed decisions about their health and the health of their unborn child. Today we're focusing on the top 10 medications to steer clear of during pregnancy. This information is not only vital, but could be life-saving. Stay tuned as we dive into the specifics of what medications to avoid and why. Before we delve into the list, let's understand the FDA's pregnancy medication categories. This classification system is crucial for assessing the safety of medications during pregnancy. The categories range from A to X based on the level of risk they pose. Starting with category A, these are considered the safest. Extensive studies in pregnant women have shown no evidence of harm to the fetus. Category B follows. Drugs here have not shown risk in animal studies, and there are no adequate and well-controlled studies in pregnant women or adverse findings in animals, but not in pregnant women. Category C is where caution intensifies. These drugs have shown adverse effects on the fetus in animal studies, but there are no well-controlled studies in humans. The potential benefits may warrant use in pregnant women despite potential risks. Moving to category D, the risk is more apparent. There is evidence of human fetal risk, but potential benefits might warrant use in pregnant women. Category X is the most severe. These medications have demonstrated risks that outweigh any possible benefit. Now that we have a framework, let's start with the least dangerous medications on our list. Starting off with category D, which indicates some risk to the fetus. This category is a critical one because it includes medications that have shown evidence of human fetal risk, but these drugs might still be used in pregnant women if the benefits outweigh the risks. First on our list are NSAIDs, which stands for Non-Steroidal Anti-Inflammatory Drugs. This group includes well-known medications like ibuprofen. While these are commonly used for pain relief, they are advised against during the third trimester of pregnancy. The reason? They can cause a premature closure of the ductus arteriosus, a vital blood vessel in the fetus, leading to significant complications. Next, we delve into ACE inhibitors, which are typically prescribed for managing blood pressure. During pregnancy, however, they carry a risk of causing fetal renal impairment, a condition that can affect the development of the baby's kidneys. This risk is particularly concerning during the second and third trimesters when the kidneys are developing rapidly. Moving on, let's talk about antibiotics. While many antibiotics are safe during pregnancy, there are specific types within category D that require caution. For instance, some have been linked to teeth discoloration and bone growth issues in the fetus. Each antibiotic in this category comes with its own set of potential risks, and it's crucial to consult with a healthcare provider to understand the implications fully. While these drugs carry risks, they are sometimes prescribed when benefits outweigh risks, Always consult your healthcare provider. It's essential to have a thorough discussion about the potential benefits and risks of these medications to make informed decisions that prioritize both the health of the mother and the developing fetus. Remember, medication during pregnancy isn't a one-size-fits-all situation and personalized medical advice is crucial. Moving to category X, where the risks clearly outweigh any potential benefit. In this category, the medications discussed are not just discouraged, they are contraindicated during pregnancy because of their high risk of causing severe birth defects or other irreversible damage. First on our list is isotretinoin, commonly known for its use in severe acne treatment. This medication has a high risk of causing extremely severe birth defects if taken during pregnancy. The types of abnormalities associated with isotretinoin are so serious that there are strict guidelines requiring two forms of birth control for female patients who are prescribed this drug and pregnancy tests must be conducted routinely during treatment. Next, we discuss thalidomide. This drug became infamous in the early 1960s after it was found to cause severe, life-altering birth defects when taken by pregnant women. The defects caused by thalidomide can include limb abnormalities where arms or legs might be severely underdeveloped or absent altogether. 
Due to its notorious history, thalidomide is a prime example of why certain drugs are placed in category X. Oral retinoids, similar to isotretinoin, are also on this list. They are used in the treatment of skin conditions and certain types of cancer. However, like isotretinoin, oral retinoids have been found to cause significant birth defects. The risk is so pronounced that their use is heavily restricted and monitored in women of childbearing age. Warfarin, an anticoagulant used to prevent blood clots, is another medication placed in category X for pregnant women. While effective in preventing and treating thrombosis and embolism in the general population, warfarin can cause fetal hemorrhage and birth defects when taken during pregnancy. Alternative medications that are safer for use during pregnancy are recommended. Lastly, we have methotrexate, a medication used primarily to treat certain cancers and autoimmune diseases. Methotrexate interferes with the growth of rapidly dividing cells, which is why it poses a substantial risk during pregnancy. It can lead to fetal deformities and miscarriage. Women of childbearing age on methotrexate are advised to use effective contraception and to discontinue the drug well before attempting to conceive. These medications should be strictly avoided. If you're currently taking any, consult your healthcare provider immediately. The risks associated with these drugs during pregnancy are severe and well-documented. Alternative treatments that are safer for both mother and child are often available, and a healthcare provider can help navigate these options. Remember, the health and safety of both the mother and the fetus are paramount, and caution should always be exercised when considering any medication during pregnancy. What about over-the-counter medications? Some of these are more harmful than you might think. When you have a cold or the flu, it's tempting to reach for something off the shelf at your local pharmacy. However, caution is required here. Many common cold and flu medications contain ingredients like pseudoephedrine or phenylephrine. These are decongestants that can potentially affect blood flow to the placenta and thus are not recommended during pregnancy. Moreover, some products contain alcohol or NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, which should also be avoided. Moving on to antihistamines, which are often used to relieve allergies. Not all antihistamines are created equal when it comes to pregnancy safety. Some older antihistamines are generally considered safe under doctor's guidance, but others, particularly certain newer ones, lack sufficient research to guarantee safety during pregnancy. The effects can vary from minor drowsiness to more severe fetal health concerns. Then there are non-prescription retinoid products commonly found in acne treatments and anti-aging lotions. These derivatives of vitamin A can be extremely harmful if absorbed through the skin during pregnancy. They have been linked to serious birth defects and therefore should be strictly avoided. In the labyrinth of aisles at the drugstore, it's easy to forget that just because a medication is available over the counter doesn't mean it's safe for everyone. Always check the labels and consult with a healthcare provider before taking any over-the-counter drugs. Even natural doesn't always mean safe. While herbal supplements and vitamins are often marketed as natural alternatives, their impact during pregnancy can be significant and sometimes hazardous. Let's delve into why some of these seemingly benign products should be approached with caution. First on the list is high-dose vitamin A. While vitamin A is crucial for healthy vision, immune function, and reproduction, an excess during pregnancy can lead to serious birth defects and liver toxicity. The recommended daily allowance for vitamin A is carefully calculated, and exceeding this limit can be dangerous. It's essential to monitor the intake of this vitamin, particularly from supplements, as regular dietary sources are typically safe and sufficient. Moving on to herbal supplements and teas, many people turn to these for natural relief from pregnancy symptoms. However, certain herbs can profoundly affect hormone levels, and their safety profile during pregnancy is not well established. For instance, herbs like St. John's wort, used for depression or yarrow or licorice used in teas, can interfere with hormones critical for pregnancy health. These herbal products might also interact with other medications, leading to unexpected complications. Moreover, the regulation of herbal supplements and vitamins is less stringent than prescription medications, meaning their potency and purity can vary widely. This variability adds an extra layer of risk when consumed without professional guidance. Natural can be powerful and sometimes that power comes with risks. Consultation is key. Always consult with a healthcare provider before adding any supplements or herbal teas to your regimen during pregnancy. This step ensures the safety of both the mother and the developing baby, making informed choices paramount. To wrap up, navigating medications during pregnancy can be a minefield. Let's quickly revisit the essential points we've covered today. 
Firstly, the cornerstone of safe medication used during pregnancy is consultation with healthcare providers. They possess the expertise to guide you through what is safe and what isn't, tailoring advice to your specific health needs. Secondly, we delved into the realm of Category X medications. These are drugs that should be completely avoided as they pose serious risks to fetal development. The potential consequences are not worth the risk. Thirdly, over-the-counter drugs and herbal supplements might seem harmless due to their availability without a prescription, but they can also pose significant risks. It's crucial to exercise caution and seek professional advice before using any such medications. Lastly, understanding the FDA medication categories is vital. These categories help decipher the safety profile of drugs during pregnancy, guiding you towards making informed decisions. Remember, your healthcare provider is your best resource for keeping both you and your baby safe. Thank you for watching and take care.